point structure, pancreatic, pancreatic duct, the protrusion, papilla of Vader, the uh, cavity behind the protrusion, ampulla of Vader, the controlling muscle, sphincter of Odi, and what two ducts drain into this papilla? Common bile duct. And Common bile duct. duct. And the main pancreatic duct. What about this little guy up here? The accessory duct. This is the lesser duodenal papilla into which the accessory bile duct empties. Okay? Portion of the organ? Duodenum. Duodenum. Okay? Structure? Gallbladder. Gallbladder. Um, can we see a structure? Common bile duct. Common hepatic duct, cystic duct, and then common bile duct goes down below. Okay, remember, cystic is a two-way duct, isn't it? It's produced in the liver bile, comes down the, the left and right hepatics, common hepatic. It hits the junction of the common and cystic duct and goes backwards up the cystic into the gallbladder. Accessory pancreatic duct comes into here? Yeah. Did I perhaps say the wrong thing? Yeah. Okay. Yell at me. It's okay. What's <laughs> that accessory pancreatic and the other one underneath is that? It's the main. The, 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 lesser, pan, the lesser duodenum is, has the accessory pancreatic duct draining into it, and the main or greater, the, the greater duodenal papilla, the vader, has the main pancreatic duct draining into it. Okay? Yeah, so yeah, if I get something messed up like that, let me know immediately. Wow, what a beautiful model. Isn't that a wonderful model? What's in a model of? Pancreas. Same thing we just looked at, isn't it? Okay, that's the pancreas and the liver and the duodenum. But the pancreas and liver themselves don't show, do they? Okay, so what do we have? What's representing the liver? Okay, we have the bile ducts. We have this bile duct. The right hepatic duct. Right hepatic duct. This bile duct. Left hepatic duct. Left hepatic duct. This bile duct. Common hepatic duct. Common hepatic duct. Common hepatic bile duct. This bile duct. Common bile duct. This bile duct. Cystic bile duct. And this structure? Gallbladder. Gallbladder. Okay? And, and that's the same thing that in, in a more diagrammatic form than what we saw on the other two models. Okay? And this is where the pancreas is, so this is what? Main pancreatic duct. Main pancreatic duct, and this? Accessory. Or Santorini. Very good. Duct. And we see that the accessory drains in here where the lesser papilla would be inside the duodenum, and the, the main combines with the um, yeah. combines with the common bile duct to form the greater duodenal papilla or the papilla of Vader inside the duodenum here. Okay. Now, be aware, this is just one of the many variations of the um, pancreatic duct pattern. There's about four main patterns depending on whether these two hook together or not and which one of them is bigger. And so there, there really is quite a variation that can happen there. So be aware of that. Okay? Okay. This very large model okay. uh, is a model of what organ? Liver. Liver. Okay. And what is all this stuff up here commonly called? The triad. The triad. The hepatic triad. Okay? And uh, we see this red vessel is what? A branch of what? Hepatic artery. Hepatic artery proper. This blue vessel is a branch of what? 
hepatic portal vein, say hepatic portal vein, actually we will run into uh, some other portal veins. There's more than one. Okay, a portal. What characterizes a portal is that it starts as the capillaries becomes a vein, spreads back out into capillaries again. Veins don't normally do that, do they? And then gathers back together into a vein to finally drain away. Okay, so we have that capillary vessel, capillary vessel, which is an odd uh, thing. Okay, and then these blue vessels are what? Sinusoids. The sinusoids go in between these cells, which are what? Hepatocytes. Hepatocytes, okay? And it all drains down into this blue structure here, which is the what? Central vein. The central vein that is the beginning of, of what structure? What's the next vessel after this one? Oh, the... Uh, what, what, what? Oh, it's so easy. It goes from the central vein to the... Not yet. Not There's something between the central vein and the inferior vena cava. The hepatic vein. There I hear it. See? So the blood is going to flow from what? Intestine to the hepatic portal vein, to the sinusoids, to the hepatic vein, excuse me, to the central vein, to the hepatic vein, to the inferior vena cava. Okay? Bile goes the other way. Bile is flowing counter. These bile canaliculi are flowing bile back, and here's your first smallest bile duct here in the tetrad. Okay. And there is something magic, something important, something significant about the fact that bile is flowing one way and blood is flowing the other. There's something you ought to learn about later called a countercurrent exchange mechanism. And countercurrent exchange mechanisms can make things stronger, more concentrated, than if they were both flowing in the same direction. Uh, in fact, we'll find out that that's like the way Spreckle sugar over in Woodland makes, concentrates their sugar, is they have the fluids flowing in opposite directions doing a countercurrent exchange. So we'll make a big deal about that. Okay? And uh, so the bile canaliculi going into the bile uh, duct. Okay, that kind of covers that one. And what's the yellow one on there? Oh, the lymphatic vessel. You should have asked why I had that. The lymphatic vessel was the yellow one on that last model. Uh -huh. Okay. Now here we have a sad little model of what organ? No, 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 not liver, not duodenum. I see a Sinai, and I see a big gray islet of Langerhans. That's this is a what? Pancreas. Okay. It's a pancreas. Okay. When were most of you born? In the 70s? 60s? Is that older than us? This was made in 1953. It's older than my mom. Older than my mom. That's old. Okay. Uh, okay, so here's your asini. What are they draining into? What's this? The lymphatic. No, huh? Oh, no. Wait, where am I? <laughs> this is a pancreas. Oh. This is the beginning of the pancreatic duct. Okay? And this is your um, island of Langerhans. So what's it draining into? These blood vessels. Remember, the island is an endocrine. It secretes to the topological interior of the body. The asini are exocrine and they secrete to the topological exterior of the body. Okay? Wait a minute. But as we're finishing up now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop here and say goodbye. I hope that this has helped. It's been a long review. It's not the only things that could be on the test. So again, don't take this and assume that this is the limits. This just gives you, uh, why, are we, why are you waving at me? Oh, I'm supposed to wave at people and say goodbye. And uh, this will be hopefully in the bookstore, and, and I'll see you in lecture. Bye.